Hello, good evening. Uh, can you hear me? Sí. Hello, hello. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Judith. Thank you, Maria. Hello, good evening, everybody. We are about to start. Good evening. Oh, I'm so happy to finally see your faces, students. Just give me a sec. All right. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Today is Friday. <laughs> I'm sorry for not being able to be yesterday, but I'm really happy to be in here looking at your faces. <laughs> well, I already know that you don't know me yet <laughs> because we are going to know each other today. We are going to be talking. We are going to be learning. So, okay, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Liliana Gomez. Uh, you can you can refer to me as, I don't know, Lick. Oh, no, that's too formal. <laughs> I think, I mean, that probably can be like teacher, Miss Lily, or something like that. I'm really open to it because it's like, eh, it's, it's normal. You can call me whatever you want to. Uh, as always, is respectful. It's okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you, Dina. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm really happy to see all your faces because I've been watching the YouTube videos and I feel like I already know you, but also I want to keep talking to you because I don't know, you are like my friends right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, what else can I mention about me? Well, now, I'm 24 years old and I'm going to be here as your guide or probably as your teacher, your friend. And I want just to help you to increase your English level, just to help you to be here with you in your learning process and everything you would like to mention to me, any suggestion, questions, please just raise your hand. Oh, which one? Oh, oh, this one. <laughs> raise your hand. I think that is visible. Okay, can you see it? <laughs> raise your hand and ask me whatever you want to, because at being in your place, I've been a student and I, I just want to help you. So, guys, there is someone who would like to introduce um, themselves, like yourself. <laughs> there is someone who would like to introduce himself or herself. Let's see. Can you raise your hand if you want to? Let's see if there is somebody. Oh, guys, I just would like to know your names. And what else? Probably your age. How many years do you have? <laughs> hmm. Oh, Marjorie. Okay. Please unmute yourself. Can you do it? Oh, maybe I will help you. There you go. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening. My name is Marjorie Halina. I am a... Uh... Thirty-seven, eight. Um, I am mom. Uh, I have uh, two children. The older is uh, fourteen years, and the youngest is uh, eight years. Oh, Marjorie, I'm that's from... so sweet. Okay, come on. <laughs> Do it, do it, you can do I'm, it. I'm from, I'm from Nicaragua, but I live in El Salvador. 
Ah, no. <laughs> great, great. That was awesome. That was awesome, guys. Thank you, Marjorie. That was uh, just neat. Oh, Amilcar, please go ahead. Hello, uh, you are uh, the teacher? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be really, your teacher, uh, your guide, well, your friend, whatever you want to. Okay, okay welcome. Uh, pleased to meet you. Yeah, pleased to meet you too. Uh, okay, uh, what are you doing right now? Well, now we're trying to introduce ourselves, just if you want to. I just would like to know if, or you, if, if, ah, sorry, each of you. <laughs> and also to know your names. What else? Excuse Probably me. your age. Something really quick. This okay. is too informal. It's just to talk and start to a confidence between us. So don't worry. It, it, it doesn't need to be like too formal or too elaborated. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, hello, how are you? Uh, good, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Amilcar Alejandro Escuela Miranda, and uh, I am uh, um, 40, 49 years old. Um, Great. I'm Mary. Um, I, uh, I work in a bakery. Um, no children. <laughs> uh, we have any son, and only our a wife and me. And we are very happy. And uh, we have a a, a pet. It's called, it is, it is a cat, it's a cat, and it's called, it's called, a, it's called, a, oh my God, I forget. You can do <laughs> it, <name>. Amika. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay, that's everybody, everything. Nice, nice. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Wow. Evelyn. <gasps> Liliana. Wow. Are you stealing my name? Or probably I'm stealing your name. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Evelyn <laughs> Liliana. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself? Te gustaría como... Introducirte a la clase. Bueno, creo que todos ustedes ya se conocen, pero pues a mí me encantaría conocerlos a ustedes. Oh, lo siento, lo siento, Evelyn Liliana. Ahora sí, I'm trying to unmute yourself. There you go. Because okay, we couldn't you listen to you. Me? Now, yes, now we can. Thank you. Go ahead, Evelyn Liliana. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so my name is Liliana Aquino, right? But you can call me Lily. I live in Zaragoza, Department La Libertad. And so I am I'm 26 years old. In this moment, in this moment, I student. So my expectation in my life is be happy right so because for me it's very important to be happy whatever you want you you should happy right so in my is my philosophy right so what else in my free time i like to watch tv and read a book about psychology philosophy all right, whatever topic about education, all right? So I, that I, four people in my family, my dad, my mom, my niece, my sister and me, I have three pets, one dog and two cats, two cats, all right? Eh, what else? 
it's a pleasure it's a pleasure to be here and thank you for all wow that was beautiful thank you lily oh i just love it okay guys there's somebody else who would like to introduce herself or himself or should we just begin with all this class okay let's see okay let's start very good uh before 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 doing this i would like just to ask you if somebody have any question about the platform exercise something like that because i would like to help you before beginning before begin this session uh, lily do you have a question let me know yes yes miss i have a question okay tell me the... oh can you repeat it please What's going on with the teacher? Oh, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the only thing that, that I know I'm going to be really honest uh, is that I'm going to be with you during this process, during this module. So don't worry because I'm going to be trying to be just with you in the, this well, in the rest of your classes, as I understand, uh, this is the class number 10, is it? Yes, yes, it is. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take it from, from, from here, from the class number 10, and we're complete these classes all together. So don't worry, I'm going to be trying to be with you each day. <laughs> Uh, since now <laughs> so okay. let's see let's see okay. yes so what else what else oh something that i just wanted to ask you also <laughs> i'm gonna share my screen and i'll show you okay guys everybody's here right uh, i just so that some of you were having trouble getting into this meeting. Uh, could you make it? <laughs> Please let me know. Yes, uh, here I am. Oh, thank you. All right, awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we're gonna do this collectively. So what are we gonna do? I already know that you were learning about comparative adjectives, right? Yes. Yes, oh, thank you. Thank you for your help, guys. Okay, so what we are gonna do today to start is I'm gonna share this i don't know if you can see in the chat i'm trying to give you a link so please let me know if you can open it because you are gonna watch this you are gonna go to a site last like this oh uru anonimo is here great we have cabra montes <laughs> This is random. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do here to start is you need to write at least one word or a sentence that you have learned last class, please. I'm gonna switch to Spanish. Lo que vamos a hacer aquí es escribir aunque sea una palabra o si quieres escribimos una oración completa o más si tú quieres en que sea algo que has aprendido en la clase anterior, ¿sí? Ok, to do it, you can go here to, it says, it says here, nota adhesiva, but if you would like to 
to find it in English is like sticky note. So it's right here. This icon, you get in here and you can write the word that you just learned last session or the sentence that you would like to share with the class. So any of both are more than welcome. And like, for example, let's see. Um, for example, I remember this. Faster. Faster, right. Ta-da! This is my word. So now everybody, let's write something on here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Amirkar. Okay, a uh, uh, motorcycle is faster than a, a bicycle. <gasps> awesome! Can you write it? Can you write it on a sticky note, please? Here in the website that we're trying to do it. Let's do it, guys. We can do it. <laughs> is is correct my sentence? Yeah, just write it, okay. please. Just share with all of us. Oh, let's see. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> We're trying to do something on here. <laughs> I just love it. And uh, let me see. I don't know okay. who's doing uh, it. Uh, it's like a dog or squirrel, I guess. Uh, Let's see. Uh, to the person who is trying to write, like if it will be like a board, you can go to here. I don't know if you can see my screen. Yes. Awesome. Here, and it says Nota de Siva in Spanish. But if your computer is in English, you can find it as sticky note. Because Nota de Siva means sticky note in, in English. So you can go here and you can write your sentence for for example i can see words isn't it words and ta -da! there you go smaller faster better bigger great my sister is taller than me great we have our first sentence. Great, guys, you're doing it awesome. Let's see. <laughs> nice. I know that the first time is a little bit tricky. It's like kind of complicated, but you have been doing a really great job. Let's see. Great. We have more in here. My girlfriend is more beautiful than Megan Fox. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Let's see, the water is better than Coca-Cola. Nice. Wow, I'm really impressed. Guys, you're having a really good English level. I'm proud of you. <laughs> wow, higher, bigger. Let's see, does anybody is having some problems or something doing this. 
Let's see. Okay. Probably that's it. Great. Okay. And we have here, oh, El Salvador is the smaller than, is it smaller than Honduras? <gasps> wow. I love it. <laughs> Good job. El Salvador is smaller than Honduras. Muy bien. Okay, good job, everybody. You, you deserve an applause and a big, sorry, a big applause. But to do so, we can do it like this. Oh, I don't know if you can see my hands. Sometimes. Hola, debe de instalar el, 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 el. La aplicación. Uh, aplicación para qué, Marjorie? Uh, is somebody ah, mm, having no, a... Es, estaba contestándole a Olga. Ah, uh, no, 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 Yes, because I connected with my tablet. Oh, don't worry, Olga. What would you like to write? I can do it for you. Oh, como lo comparto. Ah, uh, can you do it? Uh, writing, writing it in the chat. That will be an option. No, you can use the application. <laughs> oh, I don't know Evelyn. how to help you now. <laughs> Pero, Evelyn, ya, in, ya instaló la aplicación. Sí, ya lo instalé. Ah, entonces ahí hay uh, como una ventanita que tiene un signo más. Ah, sí, sí. Va, va, dele clic al signo más y dice stick not. Es sí. el primero. Ahí, dale, ahí, ahí va a poder escribir. Y ahora le doy el cheque. Sí, escriba y le da cheque. ¿Y ahora? ¿Ya escribió? Sí. Dele cheque. Ya, ya ahí tiene que, ya tiene que agregarse cuando le des TikTok. Escriba y luego le da el chequecito y ya se va a agregar a la página. Thank you. Que me dice hi, ya se ve. Okay, thank you, Marjorie. Okay, you're welcome. Wow, we have a really nice community here. Todas de la papa. Okay, guys. Good job. Good job. Oh, does somebody want to ask? Something. And ¿Dónde encuentro esa aplicación? Excuse oh, me. En el chat me? mandó, en el chat yes. mandó, en el chat de, de Zoom mandó el enlace, don Amica. In, yes, on the chat. Ah, ok, ok. Can you see it? Or would you like me to send it again? I have a question. Uh, let's see who. Can you raise your hand? Let's see who's having a question. Elizabeth, is it you? Okay, Elizabeth, yes, uh, please go ahead. What is the difference between figure or talent? Oh, can you say it again, please? What is a difference between Higer or Ornos and Taller? Uh, are you mentioned okay. tired? Like, like, oh, I'm too tired. 
Is it? No, tiger. The, oh, tiger, the like toy. the animal? Uh, no, tiger, the, the oh thank Taller. you guys Masalto. thank you guys and what was the other word taller and Hi, Hi. Your teacher. yeah thank you okay uh, one thing is let me show you the difference okay uh, as i understand because i don't remember it really like clear <laughs> but something that I, I i understand is that taller is when you're referring to somebody like for example i can say uh, elizabeth is taller than me did you see the difference and also when we're speaking about higher we are May, we're referring to what something that is not alive i guess I, I i'm not really sure elizabeth but i'm gonna try to give you a a better explanation probably when we have the next meeting but with higher i will use higher for buildings like for example the empire state is higher like than what else than <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a good example thank you so i will use them like that like taller for people or when we are trying to make a comparison between uh, something that is alive but but i'm not really sure i'm gonna try to give you a better explanation i'm sorry elizabeth but i'm gonna try to do it because uh, i don't have like the concept clear right now but i would like to explain it better to you so sorry <laughs> uh, this is the best as, okay, the no best I, I have right now <laughs> then we have most famous okay Okay, we have a really, yes, we have such really good words on here. My car is older than my father's car. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, worse. We have here worse. Okay, nice. Okay, guys, we have here a lot of words. <laughs> And I'm really happy because that means that you have been paying a lot of attention and we are going to pay more attention to our next activity. Oh, Mexico is pretty beautiful. It's pretty. We can say Mexico is pretty and beautiful on this is working too. So, yeah, nice. Okay, guys, now we are going to skip this. Thank you, everybody. We have been doing such a good job. Let's see. I'm going to delete this. OK, great. Now, what we're going to do is we already know about comparative objects. We have been using than, right? Uh, probably a rabbit is faster than a, than me <laughs> because I'm really slow. So we can mention that. So now we're going to learn about superlatives. So to start, we're going to watch this video, but just to know what are superlar superlatives, and also to listen the the pronunciation, right? So now everybody, please, if your mic is on, please mute yourself right now because we want to listen this video, please. So now everybody, let's hear, I'm gonna put it from... Let me give me just a sec. Hi, I oh, let's see.
Oh, we're what hiding. are they talking about? Pay close attention. Oh. Listen and pray. <laughs> this is not the video. Oh. Let's see. I'm in the grown one. Oh, got it. This is the good one. No. This is. Okay, guys. Now, listen. We're going to just listen the pronunciation first. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to repeat. Everybody. <laughs> so, to start. Hello and welcome back. Remember their objectives. With that in mind, we're gonna start from here. Oh. Uh, almost there. Okay. Now we're gonna learn about comparison with adjectives. To start, we can see here in the video some sentences. Who would like to read them? Do we have a volunteer? Let's see, or should I, should I pick? A volunteer, Lexi, Roberto. Oh, we have two participants. Oh my God. Great, thank okay, you. Roberto, go ahead. <laughs> Roberto, go ahead. Thank you, Lily. Can you read our first sentence? I don't know if you can see it. This one. Miss, which one, Roberto? Roberto, go ahead. Yes, Roberto, don't be shy. Which one, Roberto, de Paul or? Oh, another person. Thank you, Roberto Garcia. <laughs> okay, if you want to, you can do it, Roberto Garcia. <laughs> okay, thank you. Teacher. Thank you. The first sentence, please. Okay. Which country is large, larger, Canada or China? Great, great. And what is the answer? Can you read the answer too, please? Canada is larger than China. Nice. Thank you, Roberto. Good job. Yes, Canada is larger than China. Great. Great. Okay. We have two sentences here, right? We have which country is larger, Canada or China? And now we have here an example with a comparative adjective. And we can see here that is larger and it says larger than China. We are making a comparison between two nouns right now. But now let's read the other one. Now for that, Eileen Barrera, would you like to read it? Go ahead, please. Yes, yes. Go ahead, please. Which, which oh. city? Okay. Nice, nice, do it. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking that you were asking me a question, but no, thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. Nice. Great job, Eileen. Yes, which it, sorry, sorry, which city has the largest population? Here we have a difference. Can you see it? We have two differences. 
Who can mention <clears throat> the first one? Amilcar, would you like to participate? Yes, I would like. Nice. Can of you course. find a difference between the largest and larger? It will be a difference uh, between difference. these two cases. Uh, give me a sec. We have the first situation, right? And then we have the second situation here. Okay, the, the first situation is, is, is that uh, China is, is, is larger and the other is largest is a, a grande y más grande. Nice. We have, thank you, Amilcar. Good job. Yes, okay. we have here two situations in which the larger and the largest are having like some differences, right? Okay. Because in the second um, one, we're using superlative. Uh, superlative. Nice, Almircar. Good job. Yes, superlatives. So here we have the largest because when we are using the largest, is because we are trying to do a comparison of something against three more things or more. Like for example, okay. we have the largest because we're doing like a, a comparison between Tokyo, Mexico City or Sao Paulo. But what if I will try to do like, who's the taller, no, sorry. Who's the tallest of this class? ¿Quién es el más alto de esta clase? I will use the tallest because I'm using a superlative because here we, how many are we? We are here 22 participants. So that means that we're doing a comparison of one person who will be the tallest of 23 participants right now. Okay, welcome, Is if somebody is joining us. Okay, so we have here this short example, just to get into the topic. And now we are gonna listen the pronunciation and then we are gonna pronounce all together, right? So let's listen. There you go. Robert is the tallest. <laughs> oh wait what it is it is not working what's going on oh some technical problems going on Yes. Oh, unbelievable. Okay. I'm gonna refresh and then we're gonna try it again. There you go. And I hope this might work now. Let's see. I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Great. Okay. Adjective. Com now we're going to listen. <laughs> oh, guys. I'm still f f figuring this out. So let's. Play this video and now everybody is gonna listen. Comparative, superlative, long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. 
famous, more famous, the most famous, beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful, good, better, the best, bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. Okay, now we already know how to use comparative adjectives, right? But now, because this is our purpose, we are going to... Uh, Oh no, it's not working again. Oh. Okay, we are gonna watch the words and we are gonna try to pronounce them, right? So now I'm gonna put them again. And this might work now. Oh. They are used in sentences where two Come on, you can do it. Bad. Worse. The nice. Now we have it. Oof. Now everybody, I know that probably most of you are having your mic off or probably mute. So now here being mute, we're going to try to pronounce each of them. I'm going to give you one minute. We can do it in one minute. I'm going to try to do it too. And then we are going to share it with the class. So now let's practice pronunciation. Okay, of course. Nice. Everybody's going to try to pronounce them. If you want to write them, I, well, I think that you have done it before, so there's no problem but if you would like to do it no problem too Nice. Some of you are doing a great job. I'm watching you moving your, your mouth, which means that you're practicing. Miss? Yes? What are we doing? Oh, okay, Lily, I'm going to explain to you. Uh, can you see? Uh, give me a sec. Can you see these words that are here? Yes, I see. Nice. Okay, we're practicing the pronunciation of this word. So you in your house are gonna try to repeat this word. We were watching a video with the pronunciation and now we're trying to pronounce them by ourselves. Can you do it now? Yes, I do it. Thank you. You're welcome. So if somebody is ready to pronounce or to share with the class one of these words and how they sound in English, you can do it. 
please just raise your hand and unmute yourself. Uh, Romulo, I don't know if you are clapping, like doing something like that, or you would like to share with the class the pronunciation. I want to, of this to read. Word. Nice, great. Teacher, I want to read. Thank you, Romulo. Can you do it? Go uh, ahead. Adjective long, dry, big. Famous, beautiful, good, bad. Excellent. Would you would you like to do the comparative one? Okay. Nice. Go ahead. Longer, longer, drier, bigger, more famous, more beautiful, better, worse. And superlative, nice. the longest, the driest, the biggest. The most famous, the most beautiful, the best, and the worst. Good job, Romulo. Great. Okay. Now we have been looking, well, listening, the pronunciation by Romulo. Great job. I can see Marjorie and Roberto Garcia. Marjorie, would you like to go first? Yes, teacher, it's okay. Okay, okay go ahead. Uh, long, longer, the longest, dry, drier, the driest, big, bigger, the biggest, famous, more famous, the most famous, beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful, good, better, the best, bad, worse, the worst. Great job, Marjorie. Good job. Nice. Roberto Garcia, can you do it now? Yes, I can, chef. Adjective. Long, dry, big, famous, beautiful, good, bad, and comparative. Longer, dry, bigger, more famous more beautiful, better, worse, and superlative, the longest, the driest, the biggest, the most famous, the most beautiful, the best, the worst. Great, Roberto, good job. And then we have here, Eileen, would you like to do it too? Yes. Awesome. Long, longer, the longest, dry, drier, the driest, big, bigger, the biggest, famous, more famous, the most famous, beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful, good, better, the best, bad, worse, the worst. Great. Thank you, Eileen. We are doing a great job. Sure. Excellent. And Milkar, would you like to go now? Okay. Um, adjective, comparative, superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best, bad, worse, the worst. Great, excellent. Wow, you guys are doing it great. Let's see. Okay. Do we have more volunteers? Or we should move on mm -hmm. to our next video. What do you guys think? <laughs> Evelyn can try it. <laughs> Evelyn, Lily, can you do it? Yes, I do it. Okay. Uh, adjective, comparative, superlative. 
Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Thank you, Lily. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Eh, algo que sí me gustó bastante es de la pronunciación de la ST al final. Ese the longest me gustó, me gustó bastante. Estuvimos pronunciando las últimas, hasta las últimas letras, which means that we are paying attention to the pronunciation, guys. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> okay, guys. Now... Before continue, I would like to ask you guys, uh, any of you remember for what do we use comparative adjectives? Like, hmm, do we use comparative adjectives for what? It is just one word. <laughs> it is a tricky question. <laughs> For what do we use comparative adjectives? ¿Para qué usamos los adjetivos comparativos? María José, would you like to answer? Yeah. Uh, we use comparative adjectives to compare two things, uh, places or people. Nice, Maria Jose, great job. That's why I was telling you that it was a tricky question <laughs> because it is just one word to make a comparison. <laughs> nice, yes. Now we're gonna know for what do we use superlative adjectives. And now I'm gonna share this with you, Alexi. Here is it. And now, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm sharing. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, yes. thank you, Lily. Great, okay. Does somebody would like to read this for the class? Let's see. Hmm. Probably I would like to hear Diego. Are you there? Diego. This is Lily. Oh, who's talking? He's sleeping, Diego. Oh, probably. He might be. Well, it's almost, almost nine o'clock, so probably he's sleeping. It's okay. Let's see if... Um, Eric, are you there? Yes, teacher. Nice. What are... Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. What are superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are words used to compare the difference between three or more things. Nice. Yes, superlative adjectives are words used to compare the difference between three or more things, right? And we have here like, like an example in which we can say, oh, something it something can be big, can be bigger, but what if is the biggest one? Biggest. Yes, that reminds me, biggest, <laughs> like the restaurant. <laughs> now we just A have one. Yes, the hamburgers. Now we just have one in the country. What's going on? <laughs> Time goes flying. Yes, but we have the biggest. 
It means that is el más grande, the biggest. Something that I would like just to, to remark, like to make it really clear, is that when we are talking about superlative, like the biggest, we are talking or we are including the, like, uh, let's see what I was showing to you. Like, for example, in Spanish, when we're saying el más grande, we don't just say grande or más grande, because we're trying to refer to the biggest, el más grande. So we always add the at the beginning, the biggest. Now, to continue, we have some examples here, and now everybody. Oh, who's talking? Please tell me. Yeah, Roberto. For example, yeah, Roberto. Uh, I have a question. I okay. have a question. For example, I can, I can say, for example, my father has a, a house, but my house is the biggest. Almost. We can change it a little bit to make it sound better. Like for example, uh, you can you can try to to use my father has a house, okay. but mine is bigger because you are doing a comparison between two things: your father's house and uh, your house, right? But when you are we uh, are using superlatives we need to add an extra one three or more yeah. yes can't who can tell me what vecindario means in english neighborhood. 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 oh thank you everybody yes neighborhood so what in if my I... neighborhood my house is the biggest Oh, great. Yes, in my neighborhood, my house is the biggest. Yes, because we're talking about the neighborhood and how many houses are in a neighborhood. A are lot a of lot. houses. Great, Marjorie, are a lot of houses. So we're trying to use superlative with neighborhood because we have more than three houses. Is that clear, guys? Or do you have any questions so far? Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, another... Yeah, Roberto, Teacher. go ahead. Do it. Uh, yeah, for example, in my family, uh, I am the, the more smaller. Oh, great. You can say I'm the smallest in my family, but uh, we shouldn't use smallest because you're talking about yourself. So what if you can say the shortest, el más bajito? Ah, uh, okay. Yes, uh -huh. because okay. we, it, it is the same as in tallest and higher. Do you remember that? Uh, we were talking about that at the beginning and I'm still <laughs> need to give a really clear explanation about that, but it will be in the next session, guys. So now the last example, slow, slower. And then we have what? Slowest. Slowest. Lento. Nice, Marjorie. Lento. Sí, el más lento. The slowest. Lento. What if we can lento. say? Lento. Lentísimo. Lentísimo. Y el más lento. El más lento. Sí, el más lento. Excellent. Mm -hmm. El que sobrepasa los dos. <laughs> sí. O sea, cuando ya llegó uno a la meta, el más lento todavía va comenzando. 
porque es el último. Ese es el límite, es el lowest. Es el límite. Very good, Roberto García. So, yes, we have these examples. We were talking about superlatives and we are going to try to, uh, to continue with that the next session. Now, guys. I'm gonna say this in Spanish because we're gonna make it clear. Okay, switch. <laughs> Listo, chicos. Eh, el día de hoy eh, será nuestra última clase del mes. Obviamente, estamos en julio. Pero nos vendremos a ver, déjenme ver, hasta... Porque tendremos vacaciones. Monday um, night. Thank you. Sí. Hasta el 9 de agosto, chicos. Así que aquí tendremos muchísimo de qué platicar el próximo lunes 9 de agosto. Así que ahorita, lo más que les puedo decir, no nos veremos, no nos veremos las caritas, pero sí seguiremos trabajando en la plataforma si ustedes quieren. ¿sí? Ya saben que no es obligación, pero lo principal es que trabajemos en la plataforma porque ahí es donde vamos avanzando nuestro nivel de inglés. Así que, trabajar en la plataforma y nosotros nos veremos las caritas hasta el lunes 9 de agosto. Ahí continuaremos con este proceso, chicos. Así que, por hoy, for today, thank you for everything. <laughs> And I'm gonna see you until Monday night. Yes, good night, everybody. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Until Bye. next time. Bye. Good night. Bye. Happy Bye. vacation. Happy vacation. Happy holidays. Happy Bye. everything. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.